Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's episode, I want to share with you guys how to create uh, a little cartoon, how to create, uh, in this case, a news broadcast where you're taking a background and a character and making a scene. So that is what we're doing today. And inside Character Animator, we're looking at our tabs right here up in the top left corner. We have Rig, Record, and Stream. We're going to go into the Record tab where we can see our, my person here. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate my camera, and I'm going to go ahead and reset it. My head likes to pop off and move around. All right, um, first thing I want to do is bring in a background. For a lot of you, you might not have set your backgrounds to where you need it to be. So let's let's choose this one, for example. Um, we can thank Isaiah for this. So we're going to go File, and we're going to go Import. And we're going to import our background. So here, we have this beautiful artwork, thanks to Isaiah. And what we do is we click this, and we drag it down, um, down to our, we'll call it our timeline down here. And it shows up bigger than the actual screen. So what we can do is come over to Transform. So remember, whatever has the red dot next to it, that is what we're going to use. And so we can scale it down just a little bit. But as I scale it down, trying to get all of it into it, um, I can't get the floor and the top of the poster without getting white on the side. And this is because we haven't used a 1280 by 720 pixel um, ratio. And so I've actually gone ahead and um, I've, I've done that. I, I took this image and I recreated it into a 1280 by 720. And so let's go ahead and bring and drop that one in. All right. So we're going to take this bottom one, delete it. And now with our news background, click on it and we can scale it up. And as we scale this bigger, it's going to perfectly fit and fill the frame. All right, there we have it. Okay, now we notice that our, our character is actually missing. Oh no, where'd our character go? It's not really missing, it's just hiding underneath. So we just need to take that layer, click and drag it up above, and there is our character again. Now I'm gonna walk my character over to the left I'm using my arrow keys because I've set up my character that way. And there we have it. Now what's cool about this is I can live record. So I can go ahead and click on the red dot. And whatever I say, will my character will, will listen and, and will act along. So go ahead and hit record. Yo, what's up, everybody? Here I am just walking over to the right. Um, I don't know why it's not picking up my, my voice right now. Well done. Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, what is up, everybody? All right, as you noticed, the voice on my little golf ball guy didn't talk every time that I talked. And right now, he should be talking, but he's not. So... Well, that's because I was playing around with the microphone. So right now, he should be talking, but he's not. So, hey, yo, what's up? So I leaned forward and I yelled a little bit. And he w he picked it up then. So live streaming recording isn't always the best option. What is the best option is to pre-record what you want to say and then having your guy match the audio afterwards. You're like, all right, here goes. We're now going to record just an audio segment. This is the golf ball speaking first off. Do 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 do. What a wonderful day. <gasps> is that Marshmallow? Yeah, what up? This is DJ Marshmallow in the house. Dude, I love your music. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Dude, can I have your autograph? No, go away. All right, so there it was. There was my little recording. So now 
I take that audio piece and I'm going to throw that into Character Animator and we're going to create it, our masterpiece from that audio piece. So my recommendation to you is, you know, write out a script, read the script, have a live interaction with another person, um, and that's, that's how you'll end up with good audio. All right, into the studio. All right, welcome back to Character Animator. It is now time for us to import that audio clip. We're going to hit Command-I, and that will allow us to import it. I've saved it to my desktop, and there is my pod00131 wave file. So I take that and I click it and bring it down and bada boom, bada bing. All right, so what we do next is once we have our audio here in our timeline, <coughs> we, have, we call it the timeline right here, um, we click on our character and we come over here to our behaviors and we make sure that the only one selected is the lip sync. And then on lip sync, we go up to timeline and down to compute lip sync take from scene audio. Now we didn't record it in the scene, but it is currently in the timeline already actively in the scene. And so we go ahead and click on that and it will compute for us. All right, and now we can hit play. Have a wonderful day. Is that Marshmallow? Yeah, what up? This is DJ Marshmallow. And we, we can see that our character is now talking based off of the audio. Now, what I did is I actually I added a second character. And so up over here, I have DJ Marshmallow. And so I can bring DJ Marshmallow down and put him underneath there. Oh, but I need to put him above the news background. Whoa. And DJ News, DJ, excuse me, DJ Marshmallow is huge. So what I need to do with him is um, first off, get rid of the white background inside of Photoshop. And then, so I'm going to go do that real quick. All right, so what I need to do now is get rid of the white background. So I click on DJ Marshmallow up here, and then click on Photoshop. It will then open up in Photoshop for me. And I can scroll all the way down to the bottom and just hide the background by clicking the eyeball. And then we'll save that. And we'll save it again just for good measure. Sometimes we have to. And then we'll come back over into Character Animator, and it will automatically update for us. So then with DJ Marshmallow selected, you can see the red dot there, we can go to um, transform and we can scale them down and change the position of them. So we'll move them over and down. It was really big, so we're gonna drop the scale on them. All right, that's about good right there. Oops, move them up and over a little bit. All right, so then what we're going to want to do is we're going to do the exact same thing um, for DJ Marshmallow with the audio, um, and then we'll be able to go in and, and delete different portions of that. So DJ Marshmallow is selected. Um, we want to click on lip sync, but we can't. So we'll just go up to timeline and back down. All right, let's hit play. What a wonderful day. Oh yeah, um, this would be really cool, except um, DJ Marshmallow, he doesn't, he only has one mouth. Um, I forgot, I'd never finished him. Um, so he doesn't really talk yet. That's why the option over here wasn't there. And so um, going back and forth between the two different characters and talking isn't going to be 
feasible at this time. All right, so what we've done now is I went ahead and I went back to um, my home and I grabbed this red monster and we're gonna bring the red monster all the way down into, um, we're gonna bring it down into our scene. So we're gonna go back and find our scene. Golf ball two, walk to my right. That's where I have marshmallow guy. And so we're gonna get rid of the marshmallow guy. See ya. And then we're gonna bring in the red monster. There's red monster. And then, so now this makes all perfect sense because we can then use the lip sync portion of this. Let's get rid of all the other ones, like the triggers. All right, so now with that done, we can go up to timeline, compute lip sync take from scene audio. And now it's gonna go through the process for the red monster, just like we did for the golf ball. All right, so now what we have is if we hit space bar, we'll be able to watch. I love your music. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So we have dialogue between two different characters, but they're both saying the dialogue. Ah. So what we have to do is we have to backtrack just a little bit, and we can zoom in, and we can see that they're saying the exact same thing. So these things are called visims down here. Um, if you forget, you can look right here. And with the visims, it's, it's the mouth movement. So we're going to put our tracker right there and I'm going to select these right here by holding down shift and clicking on them and I can delete those right there I can also let me zoom out just a little bit I can also just click and drag a straight line but it has to be directly on this line if I do anything above it or below it it's also going to delete that when I hit delete so now yeah, let's zoom back in here All right. Um, so now we'll be able to see that only one character is actually talking. I love your music. Uh, and then I can come here and delete this one from this bottom one. Now, this doesn't really work because I had the audio set for DJ Marshmallow, but going back and looking at it here, we only have one character talking at a time. I love your music. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So there we have it. And then you can just go back and forth um, and delete certain things from one character versus the other. And then when you're all said and done, uh, life is going to be awesome and grand. All right. And there you guys have it. That is how to record audio and how to import it and your news background or, or just your background into character animator and how to match up the mouth with the audio we'll see you next time